like, if I have a an hour and a half video of, like, if this podcast was an hour and a half, to me, it's kind of like, are people going to watch? Like, is that too long? Am I, like, that's what I'm worried about right you now. Do. And the kind of the problem is, too, is um, getting feedback, right? Like, how all of my, and it's funny that people might, it might change now. All of my comments and stuff are positive, right? Great job, man. Awesome video. But honestly, what I would like to hear is like, yeah, that was too long, man. Yeah. Or that one shot, yeah, that was stupid. You, that, I want to hear so that. So I can fix it. Yeah. Seem to find him. He's supposed to be meeting at the top of the Albion Falls, so I'll be still here. Um, I'm gonna walk down, see if I can find him. I'll check out with you guys when we meet up. I love exploring. I just never thought I'd be able to explore another part of this forest. I thought I knew pretty much the majority of it. This seems to be my entrance. Where the water's coming over that ridge there. Yeah. That I used to just jump over. Oh. Now, fuck no. It's yeah. Hard. Like, not a chance. It's crazy. Isn't the golf course like right there? That? Isn't the golf course like right there? Uh, like down there, yeah. yeah. But pretty much, yeah. Like, you have that little side trail. Oh yeah, see? Good thing I changed my boots. <laughs> oh my god, I would have been pissed. Alright. Oh, they're flying the warplanes. Ah! I love the sound. Looks like someone else is camping here. Yeah. His work picture, um, or like I sorry, I set up a bunch of firewood because I had like my anniversary for my bushcraft build, like episode 10. Yes. So I took this pay, it was so nice. I like it, it's on my Facebook page, and it's like logs and then cut in half and then quarters, and it like it's it's just a beautiful That's lump of wood. My buddy's like, This just just wood. So, I don't know, like, I see dude, beauty it in It looks that. good. I don't know what it is, but I see beauty in that. In the nature or in, like, decay. That's, like, my favorite. That's why I do it. Yeah, fair it's enough. Something about the old and the decay. Fair it's enough. Taking a picture of a run-down wall to me is beautiful. Yeah, wait. Like, There's nothing it's uh, just I like. the way you capture it. One thing I, I find I'm getting, like, I'm starting to like is, like, architecture. Mm -hmm. I really like old, old buildings. Yeah. Like, so like I want to be a designer, right? So like that's always been like, in my interest for buildings, and that's yeah, the, the abandoned kind of took a whole another turn to that. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I'm still running out of location. <laughs> they either need to start abandoning more buildings, or I need it's to get like a car. Need to start. <laughs>
upon fire pits where the fire, it was coals, like white. And just and left. left. Oh, I can't stand that. And it's like, you realize all I had to do was blow on it. Yep. And it just right back into a flame. Yep. It's like, great. That's, so yeah, it's like. Let's walk away from that, shall we? Like, yeah. That's, that's a great idea. I can't even go to sleep until like it's completely done. Oh, absolutely. That's what I mean. I will. I even told my buddy Eli, I was like, oh, we don't have any water. Do you have to piss, man? Because we're not leaving this fire. No, like, I'll stand here until it's fucking. I can absolutely. stomp on it. But, uh. I don't mess with that. No. Yeah, we went camping last weekend. I just, I bailed out. <laughs> but I'm happy I did because, yo, they came back covered in ticks. Yeah. Oh, they didn't bring any bug spray. I have no idea. Uh, apparently only like 45 minutes from here. Oh. But yeah, no. It's the worst down here. Like yeah, there's... Hamilton has, it's apparently like southern, I should say like, like southern Ontario, us and down. Yeah. Apparently getting it bad. Because it's coming up from the states, I guess. Yeah. The funny thing, yeah, I have yet, knock on wood, I've yet to have a tick on me this year. Oh, yeah, no, seriously. But... But I'm going up north, so... Yeah. Are. Well, they are like really down here, like in these forests, and like, there's signs at the beginning of this forest oh, and for sure, Trent yeah, Holm. Yeah. yeah, and that's smart too, in my opinion. Because I always check myself before here. I come home. People don't realize that. There is, that's that's like, this my friend. She's like, oh yeah. She's like, I woke up and had a tick on me. I'm like, go to the doctor. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Go to the fucking yeah. doctor. I'm like, you slept with it on you. Go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, but the I guess they were talking to the people at the the park. Right. And the ranger said, oh well, it's okay. They don't. The, the American deer text, they don't carry Lyme disease. Bro. They carry disease though. That's exactly, that's, that's all like, bro, I don't care what kind of disease they have. Yeah. I'm not fucking taking my chance. That's what they don't tell you is that, yeah, they don't have Lyme disease, but they do have diseases that'll make you seriously sick. Yep. Like, yep. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever. And so I was like, I literally, I was like, I don't care. And I went and Googled her and I showed her all these things. She's like, oh, she's like, well, why are the ranger telling me that? Not to worry. I was like, well, because they're retarded. I don't know why he told you that, but... Yeah, that's not... That, no. You still have to worry. That's not good. <sighs> oh, yeah, they were covered, I guess. They're coming in the car and fucking, like, just shaking them off. I'm like, oh, so gross. Oh, yeah, my buddy's like... I can't do that, dude, man. Like, he's not an outdoorsman, first of all. So he's like, I don't get it, man. I was fishing one time. Walked down to the raw water through this, like, through this, uh... I think it was, like, tall grass. And I was like, well, that was your first mistake, but continue. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I was there for like 15 seconds, man. And my legs were just covered in ticks. And I was like, yeah, that's because you walk through tall grass, you moron. Like, <laughs> like, you ask for it. What you don't want to walk through is like, first of all, dead dry grass is the worst. That's like a, a spawning ground for ticks. Isn't that where they breed? And like, yeah. And yeah. then you have like swamp there, like they're here. Yeah, but they like, not the chances of like first of all they're underneath all the leaf litter right yeah. like as soon as that's why in a camp i'll move all of that out of the way because they're not going to be exposed yeah they're going to be hidden that and they don't know. always just try and crawl up on you if you're not disturbing no. it they're not not disturbing you don't go walking through some fucking bushy area and exactly. then complain that's what it is you go through their spot and yo half of not. them are scared as fuck you probably yeah. just took them out of their homes they're like, fuck, my mom's over there. You just brushed me off in your coat. <laughs> Wait, I wanted to... I did, he didn't want to crawl on you, trust me. You didn't give that's him a choice. The, that's the thing, legit. They don't want to... Like, they get on you, and then they bite you because they're hungry. Like, they're... <laughs> like, right? <laughs> you just became a fucking... Uh, <sighs> finish up this smoke. We'll get to this again. I just want this fire going a bit more so it's been warm. Yeah sit still for long enough you'll get chilled okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm so cold right now <sighs> what is up everybody yep. oh I did it again oh. <laughs> welcome to what is this five episode five me Eli Ryan Carl five yeah episode five wow space this is how long it's been since I did a podcast. Wow. <laughs> Why the Campfire Podcast. <laughs> All right. Failure of an intro, but thank you for clicking on the video. More of a failure. Right. My camera decided to start filming our feet. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Ashley. Ashley. Ashlyn. Ashlyn. I always go for how it's spelt. Yeah. Point. 
At least you didn't call me Ashley. Right? You're good. You remembered the end. Yeah. So I'm here with Ashleen. Ashlyn. <laughs> Did it again. Yeah, it's all right. Wouldn't be the first time. We, uh... Wow, it's been a while. We met on the bus. Yeah. Actually, I, I was going... I complimented your tripod. <laughs> yeah, I was going to uh, film a video, and um, she is a fellow YouTuber from uh, Hamilton, so... Got a... Uh, got in car you know got in touch with each other online decided to uh do a podcast so yeah let's Hi. get to it <laughs> get this fire roaring that way it's... i can feel the heat now it's oh, yeah. nice <laughs> that was one... a little bit wet i love it it's okay all right oh, that's a pretty wicked fire though yeah we're getting there now <sighs> nice and warm <laughs> I'm trying to like dry off a little. I can feel that I'm like a little damp still. Yeah, my ass is definitely wet from sitting on that tree. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Eat! Alright. So we'll start off with some bread. Alright. It's comfortably. Oh, that's not terrible. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, have you tried this beer? Was that? No, I have not. No way. What is this? I'm not even lying. I'm gonna be. I'm doing my own um, survey, I guess you'd call it. So, I've given this beer to two people, and they absolutely loved it. Like, yeah. it's a delicious beer. It's. You, do you drink strong beer? Yeah, I like it. All right. So. The that's Collingwood. That's where I went camping for my birthday last year. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Collingwood's beautiful. Oh I worked god. Up there for a winter one time. Winter not so much, no. but no. Right Collingwood off itself Bay. is beautiful. Oh, beautiful. But that's a delicious beer. And like, yeah, I'm gonna do my own little, uh, my own survey. So All we'll right. See. Three out of three. We'll see. All right. We'll see what I get. Nice. Right. It's like three out fruity. of three. Yeah. It's like fruity almost. Beautiful. Strong, but like. Cheers. Love thank it. you. Yeah, I know. Awesome. Definitely. I second favorite beer of all time, I have yeah, to say. I would definitely suggest so this to people. This is super good if you guys like craft beer because it definitely has the strong taste. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like craft beer or IPA style, do not yeah. drink it. <laughs> <laughs> do not drink it. It would be gross. It's, uh, yeah, it's a little strong. <laughs> yeah, guys, sorry, you know, about my, my little moving around everywhere. The That's tripods right. and the mail were just kind of all over the place today. Gotta wait. <laughs> just left China. China or no I think it just got to Canada it said so ah, so it'll be here soon it then. should be here soon thank God two months guys wish fucking sucks two months so let's see maybe give it another like six it might reach Hamilton maybe, yeah <laughs> pays pretty much oh man I swear so much my videos too I gotta stop doing that I'm like I have like when I bleep it out it's the Canadian geese sound nice <laughs> right oh, I thought so awesome. instead of like of, you know I see like, I just said at the beep, I was like, I'm a Canadian channel, no, you know? Wicked. Like, that's that so much wicked. better. But, oh my god, my whole video is like, <laughs> Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, hey, it's better than, like, I, I kind of feel the same way in the sense that I don't like, uh, I have a pretty... Started planning. <laughs> but, um, then, the only site, uh, we're literally looking up sites on our way up. We're driving. I'm like, oh, I don't care. Man. I'm going to Georgian Bay. I don't care. <laughs> There's 16 sites. Every single one was booked except Collingwood. Ugh. And they had two plots left and then one was a corner. So I'm like, okay, corner. Yeah. You know, at least I'm like kind of off a little bit. Right off the highway. Oh. I got people on this side and a highway on this side. It was the worst camping trip I've ever taken in my life. I think I've been to that. Was it a KOA? Um. Is it like just north of Collingwood? Yeah. I think I've been there. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what the site was called. I think I've been there. It's like almost like maybe a 20 minute walk up from the liquor store right off the main highway. Yeah. It's, it's not a great camp. I mean, the water was nice, but... It's just a, it's also like... If I'm camping, I like to be away from... I was about to say that. People, I want to be like secluded. Yeah. And that's why I think it's coming from the city too is kind of the problem. You're constantly surrounded by people and then working in the city like you you landscape so you have clients and you all of these people you have to deal with and stress and all of this stuff yeah and you don't want to go out into the woods and be like stressed out surrounded by people because they're making noise right exactly i remember i went on a camping <laughs> trip to niagara falls i think it was the koa in niagara falls and when i got there we we set up this um like i, I had a tent and there was two of us and there like there was campsites all around us but it was empty 
Yeah. So I was like, that's where I want to go. That's awesome. And then I set up the tent. We got, you know, we were having some drinks, having a good time. And I started to notice that people are crowding into this spot. Like there's, mm -hmm. it was probably like 10, let's say, you know what I mean? Lined like that. But the problem was like you're camping right there and I'm camping right here. And you're, so I was like, this it's is, this is not, right. It's so I just rented camping. a cabin. I was like, I'm not going to sit here and no, I'm going to go and rent a cabin and have a little bit better of a time. Right? Like, yeah. You might as well. You know what I mean? At that point it is pretty much like a cabin. That's what, like, if I'm going to be lost, around people, I want walls then. Yeah, like, you, <laughs> right? You've lost, you've lost all feeling of camping at absolutely, that point. Absolutely. That's what I mean. And then it's like, as I'm falling asleep and you know, everybody shut up. All I hear is transport trucks going by. Like this is insane. Like it's insane. Yeah, it's not. Campgrounds to me are uh, depending on the campground as well. Cause I don't know if you've ever heard of Bronte Creek. I have I wanted it to is check really that out? Really nice is there. It? Like it's far enough away from the highway to where at nighttime you'll hear the rumble, but like, but, like barely. Man, I'm thing. telling you, the highway was like right there. Like that big tree. Yeah. It's like it was. Oh, it's brutal. Right it's... there, I could see it. I was right at the end, and I'm thinking that was gonna be the smart part. Not enough. <laughs> And then there was a camp right in front of us that to go to the water. So we had to walk either all the way around or through somebody's, or through camp. somebody's yeah. camp. Right? See, so, that's, a, that's, that's just kind of poorly set up. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It was ter uh, two campsites. Sorry, actually, there was two layers getting to the water. Jeez. Yeah. Don't mind us. We're just going to yeah. go swimming. <laughs> oh, and the worst part is the girl, she was bathing in the water after. I'm like... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't even want it. The water, it was it was nice. It was clear. Yeah. It wasn't Ontario Lake, but it was still like all the sludge where we were. It was kind of like the end of the bay. So all the oh, sludge and everything. Everything just all, gets pushed yeah, yeah. She bathed in that. Oh, that's We gross. seen her come in a towel with all her shampoo and everything from the corner. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, we've been walking two hours for a bathroom. I'm like, there's one right there. I'm like, why? She came out of the shower. There must be. We walked that whole area. There's a cabin on the other side. And then it's just all woods. And then you look in the water and it's all bubbles. I'm like, no, she didn't. Yeah. Oh, she did. I, oh my God. I, you would have been grosser coming Some out people. of that than <laughs> I'm all down for the natural. That's right. You're not clean. All you done for the that. natural. <laughs> but I didn't even want to swim in that water right in that area, let alone bathe in it. Oh, no way. No, no, no. Like it was. That's like Lake Ontario. Let's go for a swim. No. That's, what it, that's what it looked like. That little corner looked like <laughs> Lake Ontario. That's what I was like. I came out here for the clear water. I don't know what happened. Not a chance. <laughs> That's right, you gotta go up to like Algonquin. Um, I remember I had a life straw. Uh, well, who I went with had a life straw, and I got to the point where I was like, I, I need water. I don't care. And uh, I love life straws because it literally mm -hmm. right off the edge of the, the rock there. Uh, just took a sip of water, and it's like, it's the water up there. I get if you're, if you're canoeing along in a lake in Algonquin Park, I guarantee you, you could just drink the water in the, in the middle of the lake because the amount of the problems with drinking like i don't know what you would call it like raw water like water from a stream yeah. is like jardia and stuff like that animals pee in the water they do all yeah in the middle of a lake the, like the chances of you catching that bacteria is ridiculous well because like, it's all it, going to the edges right exactly so, or it's falling right because oh. everything is uh what would how would you say everything's heavier than water mm. right so even a little tiny micro speck of a bacteria is still a solid right mm -hmm. it's still gonna that makes sense. Unless any, you know, lakes move and all that. My point is, like, if I was in the middle of a lake and I had, like, you know, my cup, for example, uh, for sure I would drink yeah. the water. Like, I mean, when it comes, like, worse, like, <laughs> to survival, you, and you don't have a choice, I mean, there's certain things that you're going to do that you probably wouldn't do normally. 100%, right? And you're going to take you gotta, your fucking chance. Yeah. Like, do what you got to do. I'd take Especially my survival, I'd say, for sure, especially. It's, a, it's either I'm going to die or I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, right. So either I can die, I can drink this water and die, or I'm gonna die from dehydration. So take your chance. That's right. Either way, which way? Just be smart about it. Which is the better way to die? <laughs> I mean, like dehydration seems like it would suck pretty bad. But... So would malaria. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but Jardia is like uh, everything's coming out of everywhere. Oh. I think I'll take dehydration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know, man. Because if you're so fucking weak, and then your body's gonna start shutting down, and I guess it'd right. be a little cleaner. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> But I won't have Jardia. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. That's a, that's a good point. That's not dry. We, here we go. Yeah, it was like we brought over a whole thing. Oh, we went through all that wood already. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's funny how quickly firewood goes. Like, yeah. 
the first time I ever went camping, the first time I did a solo overnighter, I, well, I bailed three times. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, nope, I just wasn't mentally prepared for that. <clears throat> the very first time I did an overnighter, I got all my firewood prepped, what I thought I needed, and then waited for the sun to die down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So once the sun died down a little bit, I started my fire. Was that a firewood? Within like no like way. 45 minutes, I have no more firewood. I'm like, ah, oh, panicked, bailed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> couldn't do it, right? Yeah, like, you can't really go looking for firewood in the middle of the night. That's you probably cool. should have thought of that first. You know what's funny is I've done that and it's, it is really not fun to look for firewood in the middle of the night because you woke up for, oh yeah, I'm by like, the way. I'm like, one yeah. is falling and a little, yeah. uh, a little side note, I probably should have told you probably. about how crap like, if I have a an hour and a half video of like, if this podcast was an hour and a half, to me it's kind of like, are people gonna watch, like is that too long? Am I, like that's what I'm worried about right me now. Me too. And the kind of the problem is too is, um, getting feedback, right? Like how all of my, and it's funny that people might, it might change now. All of my comments and stuff are positive, right? Great job, man. Awesome video. But honestly, what I would like to hear is like, yeah, that was too long, man. Yeah. Or that one shot, yeah, that was stupid. You, that, I want to hear so that. so I can fix it. Yeah. Definitely. I can't. I just make my video, right? I, like, I, I, this is what I like. Oh, I like that shot. I'm going to make that for this long. Yeah. Oh, and then this. and it, But then I put it out there and it's like, good job. I'm like, great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what my second grade maybe, teacher said. <laughs> right, a little bit of criticism would be nice. You know, like, we're, maybe, maybe they're just like. A, well, this mask smells nice. Oh Sorry. yeah. <laughs> maybe they're just. Uh, I kind of sound a little cocky, but like maybe they're not bad videos. Is my point, right? I would like. I'm not uh, trying to steer away from negativity. Is my yeah. point. I want people to tell me, hey. Constructive criticism. Exactly. Is don't my point. don't troll me. But oh, that's that's a whole other. I would <laughs> love that. Like, please, just let's do it. You I... two beef? I'm down. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I have plans no. for a whole other video tonight. So that's jokes. <laughs> nice. Oh. Hashtag no more trolling. <laughs> Hashtag troll under the bridge. That's right. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. All right. So we got. So you're a you're a backcountry camper then. That's what you like. Yeah. I'm the same way too. The further away from people, the better. For sure. So let's <laughs> let's do. Uh, how about? Actually, hold on one sec. Because again, it might cut me off. So let's start over again. Yeah. And my mother cuts <laughs> Right? There we go. My battery is like, please juice me. Please juice me. You know Fuck you. I just started recording and then it stopped recording. My clamor is definitely glitching. Oh, yeah. That's, like, that was yeah. not right. I literally just put in, it was like three seconds and it was like, movie recorded stopped automatically. Could it be the battery? Shouldn't be. Because no, right. now I'm recording. I just thought so it weird. stopped and then I went back and now I'm recording. It's so weird. I don't know. I need to get this thing taken in. Yo, Cannon, gotta fix my shit. That's right, holler by me, Cannon. Your batteries are garbage. <laughs> your battery, your camera. No, I can't. I can't your even. Batteries, talk, Cannon. Can't even talk bad about Cannon. No, I. I Cannon's I actually. Can't. I love their cameras. Like I'm in love with it. But seriously, like it's going from a Nikon <laughs> to a Cannon, it's like night and day. And that's what's funny is my Nikon. There's ten times heavier too. I mean, the girl told me in the store. I bought it from new to you, right? Oh yeah. The girl was like, "This was the first Nikon ever made that was like a DSLR style." Yeah. And I was like, that, I didn't really care. I was like, it's okay. <laughs> and. But that became important. So I was like, oh, it's old as fuck. Like, I didn't realize that, right? Like. So she's. That's like, what yeah, she whatever. meant. Okay, I'll take it. Like, she, yeah, no. She's just, like, oh, are you are you really trying to look for like retro, like you know, <laughs> or like, like how, how are you much in... do you know about cameras? Right? Oh, I'll buy this camera. <laughs> like that's that's exactly what happened. I guarantee it. Literally, <laughs> you're looking for an antique, or uh, you just don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, you like this knife? You should oh definitely God. buy it. Like, I just I'm so fat for this chair that I just keep. Every three it's, seconds, it's I need to get up. Literally, it's the ground. That's the problem. I know, but I'm like, I'm sinking in so much. <laughs> if it, I bet you, if it was like a little bit drier, it'd be easier. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly. I'm so mush. fat that the mud is just sliding its way down. All right, guys, that was it. 
Just left Anna, I was down there. Just taking the low road, we taking the high road. Okay, no, anyways. Um, <laughs> so that's all we got for today. I don't know, a little bit boring. I'm gonna put a link down for the description of the podcast down there. I'll show you guys basically the little bit that I have. Won't be much. <sighs> I'm dying. Oh, fuck guys. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna try and make up this hill and get the heck out of here. But that was awesome. That was super fun. Um, link in the description for Dano Bushcraft down there for sure. Um, hit him up. <sighs> He's got some pretty awesome videos. <sighs> Guys, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, this thing is so heavy. Oh, there's a woodpecker. You see it? Oh, Woody Woodpecker. Okay, but yeah, so, um, I don't know how to do an intro or an outro for this video, to be honest, because I was a guest on a podcast, not really my video, but you know me, gotta record something for you guys, so, oh my god, look at guys, this just keeps going, oh, wait, how do I, how do I turn it, don't look at me! Seriously. Oh, wait, my phone's locked. Hang on. Oh, it just keeps going forever. Whatever. Whew. Okay, I can't see much, but like... Right after that bend is just a straight downhill that we just walked up. Then we got all this to go. And then at the very end, there's stairs. Just to screw me over. Alright, catch you guys at the top. Alright guys, we made it. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful view though. Guys, links in the description below for everything that we talked about today. Look at this awesome view. Oh, it's all foggy, you can't see much. But, uh, yeah, so, Dano, awesome guy. Guys, go subscribe to him. Please go subscribe to him. He does some awesome fucking content. Awesome content. Sorry. Oh my goodness. But, yeah. Camping in the wilderness. In the middle of nowhere. Some, there's a carburetor down there. Um, <laughs> so I just threw the carburetor off the side. But, yeah, so the survival stuff, guys, this guy's awesome, for sure. You guys need to check it out. Um, we just left him now. I'm gonna have this guy's uploaded for you, hopefully tonight. Hopefully. His will be coming out on Thursday, the podcast. So you guys definitely need to go check it out, for sure. Go subscribe to Dano Bushcraft. Description's right here. His link will be right here. Alright. We got one hell of a walk in front of us now. Oh, I'm gonna stop up, grab some food, I'm starving. I just spent the whole day in the forest. Whew. I didn't bring water because I'm stupid. And like I said, no backpack, guys. I was dumb today. I was not ready for this whatsoever. <sighs> Adventure fails. Guys, make sure you're prepared. Because I'm dying. But that's all for now. Uh, we guys actually, I'm going to be filming something else for you tonight, actually. Yeah, tonight, got a little surprise. I mean, completely different content. I know, I feel funny as hell today, so figured, you know, film something funny, got the boyfriend in on it. So, I don't know what video's gonna be at first, that one, or this one. We'll see how it goes with this podcast, because I want to put this up with the podcast so that you guys have something to go check out.